Welcome to another episode of Alan's Collection. And to continue with Galactus celebrations, we are going to introduce some of his mighty heralds. We're going to do a two-part review with four galactic heralds. First, we're going to go in order, of course, of publishing history. The first one to be reviewed will be the Silver Surfer. And then we have a surprise for you. A very nice surprise. I give you another herald of Galactus, which is Fire Lord. Much like the Fantastic Four, you are nothing to me. Congratulations. You have doomed your world. Alright guys, so here they are. These are the first two heralds of Galactus that I will be reviewing. These are, of course, Silver Surfer and Fire Lord. We shall start with Silver Surfer himself. Let's begin. Okay guys, this is Silver Surfer, oldest herald of Galactus in publishing order history. This figure comes with a 32 inches Marvel Legends Haslav Galactus. If you want to check that review you can do so and I will leave the link on my channel. So for the outer box I have already made a review of the outer box for this figure and the other two heralds of Galactus. Uh, I will be leaving the names of the sections so you can skip the outer box for this character. So without further ado let's check out the outer box. Alright guys, let's look at the box of Galactus. And of course this is a cardboard box. To protect even more the figure. We have the, the shippers that I, I showed you in another video. But this cardboard box and this artwork is looking absolutely fantastic. You remember that last year the Haslav team opened uh, some options for fans to vote. And I voted for this. Uh, uh, artwork and I'm very happy that it won and of course it says Galactus in in big letters and this is Marvel Legends series Haslab number two and of course we're not gonna have another Haslab Marvel uh, series until 2024 as unfortunately the the Ghost Rider Haslab uh, wasn't funded but we have here Obviously, the, the three heralds of Galactus. Can you see uh, Silver Surfer with his power cosmic uh, going for, for a planet? Or we have Frankie Ray taking off there, looking really cool. And Morg with his axe. They, they look like they are going to uh, go for different planets. I will be doing a separate uh, video, a separate review of these heralds of Galactus. And obviously, we, we cannot... Stop talking about the big guy, which is Galactus, looking down on a planet, about to grab a planet, destroy a planet, or destroy anything that stands in his way. So, here we have what appears to be celestial language writing. and It goes all the way uh, from top to bottom of the side of the box. Let's see what we have on the other side of this amazing enormous massive box so pretty much the same guys let's review the back of the box what does this amazing Haslam bring us uh, the first thing that comes into uh, mind is the amazing world ship the Tatu remember when Galactus survived the destruction of the other universe he woke up hungry and then he ate the first planet that he encountered, the Archaeopia. So from that planet he built a, a ship which he named Tatu. 
And so we have a good rendition of that uh, ship here, created by Stan the Man Lee and Jack the King Kirby. Uh, on the background of the ship we have some planets, we might have a neutrino star here, or a blue dwarf. We have a, a dying star about to explode, a, a red star there. Some cool, amazing looking planets and probably a, 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 the ground, the surface of a planet or a, a, a moon here. Uh, so it's looking very galactic. Uh, obviously, Galactus has to have a galactic uh, uh, piece of artwork like we have here. Absolutely amazing. All right, guys, uh, here we have of course, for the Heralds of Galactus, here we have the Styrofoam box on the back, and we have the, the blister lid here. And as you can see, we have the Silver Surfer board. In here, we have the Silver Surfer himself uh, that brings uh, four extra hands and power cosmic effects that look really amazing. So here we have uh, the Silver Surfer in the blister box. Of course, we have cut the the blister box to review him just by himself what we can appreciate here is the figure itself norin rad the silver surfer himself the four interchangeable hands the power cosmic effect the the stand where you can place the surfer board of course you can see a little bit of a, of the part of the antlers where the Galactus antlers wear I'll show you in detail right now where the antlers of Galactus wear so without further ado let's get this figure outside of the blister box okay guys here we have the silver surfer himself and the first impression that I have is that he's looking really really cool very cosmic and also very very strong you can see the details in the muscles all over the body highly detailed you can see of course in the arms the muscles in the arms you can see the muscles on the chest you can see the four pack quite neatly you can see the muscles on the thighs on the upper part of the legs you can see and of course you can see the muscles here on on the upper part of the torso and indeed on the back as well you can see all the muscles really standing out with the character you can see the muscles here the biceps triceps, biceps, pliceps, mipeceps. Head sculpt is, he's looking really cool. He just brings one uh, head sculpt, unfortunately. But since he is always shown with basically no emotions, of course, as a herald of Galactus, he's, he has one mission. To find planets for Galactus, he will always look really serious always looking with a fixed face uh, in order to do the task at hand and of course that's how he looks and of course i love the the metallic painting here there is if, if you if you look a little bit closer into detail it looks glossy absolutely fantastic four You can move up the head, move down the head, and it has, of course, 360 degrees movement. You can move fully, rotate the head. And as you can see, you can also tilt the head to the left and tilt the head to the right. And that's the head articulation as you can see silver surfer has a butterfly joint the shoulders can move backwards all the way to touch the back like this very cool now let's look at the upper torso we have an 
av crunch here very nice you can move the figures upper torso all the way up to here and also backwards and in the waist you have nice swivel there you can actually rotate 360 degrees the figure as you can see here we have shoulder rotation here nice shoulder rotation and you can move the arm up it goes out the, the arm goes out and here in the bicep there is nice rotation 360 degrees rotation for the elbow you have double joint here there's a double jointed elbow however it's not a pinless articulation it's it's not a pinless technology like other figures but you still can get uh, a very nice amount of flexibility in the elbow and looking at the wrist we have swivel on the wrist nice swivel here you can rotate 360 degrees and you can move the joints up and down in the wrist highly articulated and you can make a lot of poses action poses with your figure you can kick forward and kick backwards and also the leg goes out very nicely and here we have a thigh cut we have thigh cut and the thigh moves 360 degrees so there's a nice swivel there and moving on to the double jointed knee of course you can see that the knee bends really really well almost touching uh, the back of silver surfer and we we also have here the pins you can see the pins unfortunately now on the shin cut there is articulation actually you can move the shin 360 degrees there's articulation as well on the on the ankle you can move upwards forwards and there's a nice rocker as well here you can move sideways if you want to make a ballet cosmic ballet pose you can do so very nicely however on the feet there is no toe articulation as other figures unfortunately but i would say the legs are highly articulated as most of the figure is all right guys let's check out the accessories for silver surfer and starting with the interchangeable hands that we have here we have a couple of chopping hands for galactus to cut through space and make those cool poses of him flying through space and we have a couple of relaxed hands here for silver surfer to shoot out the power cosmic very nice metallic painted uh, interchangeable hands we have here and we have the power cosmic effect uh, for of course silver surfer to uh, showcase this amazing power that he has been granted by galactus himself the power cosmic here's the silver surfer wielding the power cosmic here very very cool i wish it brought two of them because in that case we would have both hands with the power cosmic effect but unfortunately it only brings one so you know what that means guys we have to buy another galactus just kidding and we have his classic silver board flight board here really neatly 
and we have a peg here for him to be placed to be displayed and of course uh, you wouldn't be able to display him in cool poses without its flight base flight board base that we have here looks like uh, we have the power cosmic uh, crafted into a base here so let's check out how to place your board so what we do here there's like a um, these parts they have crafted really neatly where the board goes so you have to uh, see where you want the board to be placed so you can balance your figure really nicely so I will put it around here and there you go you have to hear that click sort of a click and we have ourselves the stand with the board in it very neatly here now you can place of course the silver surfer surfing okay guys now I will show you how to place this surfboard stand in Galactus hand so the first thing that you need to know is that this part of the stand this wave has to be facing the figure of Galactus. So once you have it facing the figure of Galactus, you must bear in mind that this stand has three critical points. The first is this side of the wave. The second one is the other side of the wave. And the third one is the protrusion that you can see here, which has to go in between the middle finger and the index fingers. So the first thing that we are going to do is move the arm up. So we place it in a straight position like this and we prepare the hand to receive the surfboard stand. Now here you have to move away the index finger from the three other fingers. So we leave space for the protrusion uh, to be able to be placed in, in here. And then we have the, the hand ready. And here we have the stand. So here, here it goes. You have to be able to grip it, as I, as I said before, with the, this side here, this side here, and the protrusion in between the middle finger, in, in between the index finger and the middle finger. So then you can adjust the fingers as you please. So you have a firm grip of the surfboard stand and then you're ready to place the mighty herald of Galactus, the silver surfer in this peg that we have here in the surfboard, in the silver surfboard. And you place the silver surfer Norinrad there. And wow, look at that guys looking absolutely fantastic mighty galactus and his silver surfer norinrad herald of galactus here we have the retrocarded box for fire lord this is another herald of galactus i am pleased to present to you this character Let's start by looking at the logo of the Fantastic Four, different from the Toy Biz Vintage Fantastic Four figures that used to be holographic. And on the background, we have a galactic cosmic background. And we have the logo here of Marvel Comics, the classic logo there. And of course, the figure itself, all protected. We can see some, some of the accessories. We can see the, the, the hands flaming stuff. Of Fire Lord and of course the figure itself looking absolutely amazing guys here we have the back of the box guys as well as the Fantastic Four you remember I have done the archive of the Fantastic Four and of course as I explained in that video they have made a a similar artwork as the Toy Biz vintage Fantastic Four figures and here we can we can see that they have given us instructions how to 
interchange the hand and we can see the staff here as well having fire effect upwards on, on the top and on the bottom something that you couldn't see on the front of the box you cannot see it at at first glance you you would have to do something like this in order to see the fire effect on the bottom of the staff so this is this is his flaming stuff, remember? And of course, we have a galactic background as well here. As you can see, the galactic background with some with quite a few stars or galaxies, however you want to look at it. And we have some information about Fire Lord in different languages, of course. Of course, the legal information here on the bottom and the warnings of course amazing guys after analyzing reviewing the box the back of the box and the front of the box we are ready to get fire lord pyrus krill outside of the box we have here fire lord the sandarian naval officer turned herald of galactus wow that hair awesome look at the hair i haven't seen a hair so amazing in other figures of marvel legends i do have a long time of of not purchasing marvel legends seriously i'm digging this amazing figure here wow i have to say amazing painting look at the the, the painting here wow Look at the different tones that this figure has. It's just absolutely fantastic. And you can see the different tones in color here. You can see red, vibrant red here. You can see a, an orange tone and finishing with a yellow tone in that amazing translucent hair. And obviously the tones in the torso and the hips a bright yellow a nice white color like a belt and of course orange and red the boots wow look at those eyebrows fired up eyebrows i am completely amazed with this figure and of course on the back you can see also the details on the sculpting and of course the muscles you you cannot miss the muscles in the biceps and in the rest of the arm and in the legs and of course the vibrant colors on the back absolutely amazing look at the sideways look look at the figure sideways also looking very cool very 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 cool i i, I like it very much very much fire lord can move up quite a bit and down not so much down but it it does move up it has a 360 degrees rotation on the head as you can see it tilts left tilts right and that's the head articulation first of all it has a butterfly articulation here you can move the shoulders all the way to the back and in this way you you can recreate a flying pose there is an up crunch and you can move forward and backwards there is a swivel here on the hips you can rotate 360 degrees as i'm doing it here very nicely perfectly that's the torso articulation guys we have um, a full rotation of the arm also goes out there is a nice uh, bicep rotation here bicep articulation in the biceps you can rotate it 360 degrees very neatly very nicely and you also have a double jointed elbow articulation here as you can see you can flex really well the elbow we don't have pinless technology and we didn't have it for silver surfer as well it also have 
wrist articulation here. You can move, rotate 360 degrees the wrist. You can uh, move the joint up and down as well. It's a nice articulation on the arms, guys. So as we see here, you can kick forward really nicely. So you can kick forward. You can also move backwards. Kick forward. Move backwards. There's a thigh cut here. We, we can rotate 360 degrees with this part. We also have a double jointed knee here. You can bend the knee very neatly. You can almost touch the back of Fire Lord. Uh, there's no pinless technology here either. We have a shin cut here. There's a shin cut here and you can rotate 360, 360 degrees. For the ankle, move up, move down. And we have a, a rocker here, some rocker here. But we don't have toe articulation, unfortunately, there. But still, we have plenty of articulation for Fire Lord to do those poses. This is Pyrus Krill, guys. Nicely articulated, articulated, guys. All right, guys, here are the accessories for the Herald of Galactus Fire Lord. And Fire Lord can project energy through his eyes and as well through his flaming stuff. So there's two ways that he can project energy through his eyes and his awesome flaming stuff. So here's the flaming stuff, really cool. Uh, some flame effect on each end really really cool can't wait to pose fire lord with this incredible looking stuff here's fire lord with his flaming stuff or his cosmic stuff however you want to call it and of course he uses his fire stuff as a striking weapon wielding the power of galactus the power cosmic as he prepares the way for the mighty devourer of worlds to eat a planet. And we get a pair of hands, two hands here. Obviously, open, open hands for wielding the stuff. So those are the accessories for Fire Lord. All right, guys, a classic Marvel character from the comics the silver surfer first appeared in fantastic four number 48 back in 1966 he comes from the planet sen la which of course faced destruction by galactus but he bargained with galactus to spare his planet and in exchange he would become a herald of galactus and thus sparing his home planet Sen La. And of course, when he became the Herald of Galactus, Galactus gave him the Power Cosmic, a portion of his power, and the Power Cosmic allowed him to surf through space, looking for planets for Galactus to devour. When he went to Earth, he didn't want to destroy Earth, so he betrayed Galactus. In doing so, he was exiled. Um, he banded with the Hulk, with a Namor, to become the Titans Three, And then, interestingly enough, Silver Surfer, Hulk and Namor would band together with Doctor Strange and thus becoming the Defenders, a very classic team of the Marvel Universe. So, a quite a long history that silver server has and of course he has appeared in the series in the 1994 animated series fantastic four and of course he appeared in uh, a movie called the fantastic four and the silver surfer it was my first ever movie of the fantastic four
So there you have it. That's the background history of Silver Surfer, guys. So, Fire Lord, also known as Pyrus Krill, he made contact with Galactus the first time when his commander and friend Gabriel Lan uh, was abducted by Galactus himself. And of course, Fire Lord pursued Galactus' ship. And when he reached the ship of Galactus, he met Galactus himself and would demand Galactus where his commander was. In exchange of the knowledge, he would have to become a herald, he agreed. So it's a very interesting way of becoming a herald of Galactus. And then, of course, he received the power cosmic. And part of his powers is to manipulate cosmic energy in, in the form of stellar fire. He has quite a few abilities fire lord all right guys we have reached the end of the first part of the heralds of galactus i hope you have enjoyed this review as much i have enjoyed making the review these are silver surfer and fire lord silver surfer being the first herald of galactus in publishing history and fire lord being the third in the marvel comics together they look very cool with galactus they look also really absolutely amazing and i have very much enjoyed uh, all the poses that they they can make the articulation the accessories really 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 cool guys and thank you do not forget to subscribe to the channel give a like leave a comment and i'll see you next on alan's collection should be like...